Boner, a bur- yeah. not boner. <laughs> I'm at a burner. <laughs> Hello, Freud. Uh, a burner uh, phone. Well, at the good 7-Eleven. thing is I can fit my boner in there too. That's which is the thing good. that yeah. most burner yeah. phones come with boners, <laughs> right? That's right. You, that's why exactly you're right. getting a burner yeah. phone. As soon as you, you get that boner. burner, you got a boner, and then yeah, um, yeah. I it's it's a great it's a great vehicle. And like I said, my my kids love it. Mugsy and and Scooter and Sluggo. And, that's uh, interesting that you got yeah. it because you can't track you with it, and also they can't. Let me ask you this. Mm. This is a tough one. I want to ask you two conspiracy ones, but this one's a tough one. Michael Hastings. Do you know his case? Do you know his story? Yeah. 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 What do you think happened there? Well, let's let's explain what happened, What who, who he was. He was a journalist. He was embedded in, uh, was it in Iraq? Yep. During, the, um, during the war, he was writing a story for, the Ro- for Rolling Stone, and he was writing about which general was it? McCaskill? It was the... Uh, uh, McChrystal. McChrystal. It was McChrystal. McChrystal. Stanley McChrystal. Yeah. So he wrote this story, and apparently, while this happened, the Iceland volcano went off. So they mm-hmm. they suspended air travel. So he was stuck there far longer than he was supposed to be, and people got comfortable with this guy being around. Right. And so they behaved the way they behaved. They made some jokes about things. He apparently made some jokes about Obama. This guy put this, Michael Hastings put all this stuff in Rolling Stone. Um, it wound up being a huge scandal. Yep. McChrystal had to step down, and there was a lot of people that hated that guy. Yep. And a lot of people loved McChrystal. And he was a, a highly respected yep. general. Yeah, absolutely. He had to step down from his position, and next thing you know, X amount of time later, this guy drives his car 150 miles an hour into a tree it blows up the engine goes flying the whole deal uh the conspiracy theory was that there was a way because he had a brand new mercedes Mm -hmm. there was a way that they could take over the controls of your vehicle the acceleration the braking the steering and they could do all this remotely if they put something in your car like we Mm -hmm. were talking about if you could get a hold of this television you could turn that television into a receiver right do you think that it's possible that someone could have gotten a hold of his car and made him suicide himself? Uh, two parts to it. Uh, one is, is it possible that you can take control of a vehicle? A modern vehicle. Yes. <laughs> not modern, my, right. Not, not that not, modern not, not, not the Woody. <laughs> not the Woody, as we call it. Um, but uh, uh, so, yes, it's absolutely possible that you can take those. There's no two ways about Acceleration, that. Acceleration, steering, everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. If you've got – and, and – um, and I mean, think about <clears throat> people should think about it. Think about the the OnStar, or think about the ability for your car to send uh, data uh, right. to the to the vehicle manufacturer, right? right? To tell them, you know, what's going on with your vehicle. Right. Um, that's a that's a handshake operation, right? Once you do that, that that means there's an exchange of information. What does that mean? Well, that means you can access. Can you access that information? Sure, of course you can. Does that mean you can then take physical control? Sure. That's it's it's an it's just another iteration of of the exchange of information, right? Mm. You, uh, software can take control of physical systems. So that yeah. So the first part is yes. Is it possible that that car could have been uh, taken over? Sure. Uh, do I think that's what's happened? I, I have no idea. I really don't. Of course. Uh, yeah. But um, it's 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 certainly a possibility. I mean, when I hear people talk about, you know, certain conspiracy theories, I look at it and go, there's just no fucking way that could happen. Like but, what one What one do you say no fucking way? Uh, actually, no. I'm having a hard time thinking of one. Um uh, I like the, the theory that with every burner phone you get a boner. That's uh, I just <laughs> I, I can't imagine that could happen, but but it sounds good. I um, think it, I think I've been misunderstood. <laughs> what I'm saying is you get the burner phone because you have a, a boner, boner already. <laughs> You're trying to get rid of the. Oh, I didn't see that. Boner. Okay. Now I get. I, yeah. Okay, I got the priorities wrong. Yeah. Okay. So uh, anyway. tell your secretary to get a burner phone too, <laughs> and you, you meet her at the old. T- That's it. Hotel, yeah. motel, holiday. Oh, man, just like Jeff Bezos.